Hey there folks, Pluskin by 51 millimeter, and I've got a real quick update announcement to do. As you can see, I still have my AR where I left it after I got done filming, because um, I thought th this would be a good place for it, because it's just sitting here, and it's uh, out of the way, because my gun cabinet is full again, my new one. And because I brought up a gun, I brought up the Saint Victor from the other place, so it kind of took up the spot that this one would fill. But that's okay because this one's on ready standby to like grab and go if I need it. Um, but I just got home from work, it is currently um, 6 33 in the morning here on June 6th on D-Day. How ironic. Uh, but uh, while I was at work, I was at break, the last break of the night, and I seen something rather disturbing. Although I can't really say I'm, you know, flabbergasted at all. It's honestly par for the course. But what I seen and what I heard is that on January, or not January, oh my lord, on June 18th of this month. Hmm. June 18th, yes, this month. <laughs> my brain is not working. Working 10 hours, I'll do that to you. But, on the 18th, uh, YouTube is going to change their policies. I took a screenshot of it while I was at work. They're going to change their YouTube policies for gun content. And I'll show you the screenshot and read it off. It says, starting June 18th, 2024, certain content showing how to remove the safety, safety devices how to remove safety devices will be prohibited, so I guess showing how to take the safety out of your, you know, for like doing a how-to video on how to take one apart. It's like a 1911 takedown video or an AR-15 takedown video. Um, showing the removal of safety devices will be prohibited. Content showing the use of homemade firearms automatic firearms and certain firearm accessories will be age restricted and I leave that part there at the end uh, ambiguous the, well technically the whole thing is ambiguous if you have a, any video whatsoever on your channel where you've taken the gun apart because what what determines taking removing the safety is it physically removing the safety from the from the lower receiver of an AR or is it taking like you know taking the whole thing apart because what could what could be classified as removing the safety same with certain firearm accessories so basically what they're getting at is that if you have gun videos on your YouTube channel um, they're either going to get taken down which they say by pro will be prohibited or they will be age restricted, which I mean, the lesser of two evils. I mean, you know, if you're going to, age restriction isn't that bad, but at the same time, they say this shit, but that's just what they say. They could actually, there could be a whole plethora of other shit that occurs. Um, it also says here it says content intended to sell firearms. Instruct viewers on how to make firearms, ammunition, uh-oh, <laughs> and certain accessories, or instruct viewers on how to install those accessories is not allowed on YouTube. YouTube shouldn't be a, used as a platform to sell firearms or accessories. Go fuck yourself, noted below. See, YouTube also doesn't allow live streams. That shows someone holding, handling, or transporting 
firearm sometimes content violates our policies but it may not be appropriate for viewers under 18 so basically the the long the low end run pretty much they're they're finally clamping down and I figured they would yeah, it was only a matter of time uh, basically you know it may as well just consider if you have a gun on your channel at all um, you're gonna just get crucified and your content will either be age restricted and if it gets age restricted I mean honestly though YouTube lately they've been doing some I've noticed even on my end like my videos do not get many views at all anymore and cause it, and they're you know they try to hide the shit then behind it, you upload a video with a gun in it they will pick any other frame of the video that does not have a gun in the th so it won't have a gun in the thumbnail and I've been noticing that shit and it's uh, I was just wondering when it would get to this point and we're here so my first m order of action what I'm going to do is I'm after I upload this video I'm going to start taking and downloading all my videos try to get as many of them as I can before I have to go to sleep because I gotta go to work again tomorrow and try to download many as many of them as I can before I go to work and I will do this on an incessant basis until I get as many of them as I can and then when the 18th happens I'll sit back and see what gets destroyed and what doesn't and I think from this point on um, I'm not gonna full on abandon YouTube because that just wouldn't make sense but I'm gonna start running parallel with uh, rumble because I already have a rumble channel that I created there about two years ago and I was gonna plan I was planning on uploading to it more but I started working at Amazon and that cut into time uh, Mac daddy 1911 a1 He's a wizard. He's, he foresaw this crap. He's been on over there for a while. He's been uploading over there mainly for the most part. But if you guys have any video content that you want to save or redirect or anything of that nature, now is the time. See, I would have never have known about this myself. If I hadn't um, just seen the thumbnail of that video from, who was it? Uh, Gun Owners of America, believe it or not. Yeah. It just happened to pop up in my feed and I clicked on it. And this is the screenshot here of, you can go ahead and pause the video or do what you need to do and just read that yourself. There you go. Okay. But yeah, um, that's where we're at here. I've seen somebody say that this is a response from YouTube because of what Brandon Herrera did because he ran for Congress, I think. I can't mem remember exactly what Brandon ran for. It was it, running for something for Texas. And he almost beat the neocon nutbag that, he, that was running against him by about... And he... he he lost to him by about 500 votes or some shit, and then everybody's freaking out. Oh, this is because Brandon Herrera ran for so and so. It's like I highly doubt that's the case. They're just like we're in election year, and this is you know, it's an election year. And given the track record of how bullshit went the last time, um, they're doubling down on shit, and they're going to keep doubling down on shit. 
and it won't be, I mean, it, won't, it don't surprise me one bit. This shit's been going on, and it's just been getting worse the last three years. It's still so funny seeing how many people in these last three years, they, they something happens like this, and they all get wide-eyed. I can't believe it's happening. Why would they do that? It's like, where in the fuck have you been? And it's like, Jesus. You've just been, like, I, I, a lot of the people really do not know what's going on with the, with the country and the people who run it and all the bullshit in between, like with Trump and shit and his misdemeanors turned felonies at the last second and all that bullshit. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that have been paying attention but there's a lot of people who have who have not. They put all their faith in the ballot box, but don't know any of the steps that lead up to it, and then just shrug anything that happens up. Well, only next time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Next time. Let's see what next time gets us. Yeah. Well, anyway, I got downloading to do, and I'd suggest you guys, if you want to save your stuff, start downloading as well. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video, whenever it'll be. And I will still upload to YouTube. I will see what comes down the toilet. After the 18th. But if it turns out. If it goes the way I think it might. This channel might just become. A shooting channel only. Where I just shoot guns. And that's it. I have to see what in the world. they What, what will fly and what won't. And if I do anything like a review. Or a how-to or any of that. It'll probably get put up on Rumble. Because there's another part of this too. That a lot of people don't seem to understand. I've seen, I was reading the comments there at break. There's a lot of people that are like. They think there is no alternative to YouTube. And in the context and how YouTube exists. They're not wrong. Because YouTube has a lot of pull. But at the same time, it, having all of your eggs in one basket, I have found over the years, is not the wisest move. So, I'm going to download them all. And, I mean, there's no guarantee that Rumble will exist. You know, Rumble's... Everybody says Rumble's taking off and Rumble's doing this, that, and the other. But I've been on several other video sharing websites where they went kaput shortly after I got on there so if I had just decided to to take everything up off of my channel and put it on over there it would be kaput and if things do go go crazy and it all go go sideways I'm not going to delete my channel I'm just going to archive it leave it up and then link it to the rumble account but anyway but that's just my thoughts on it um, you know, I'm going to get started on it, upload this, let you guys know what's going on, and the rest of it's just wait and see. Well, anyway, guys, this has been Pluskin by 51mm. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.